Alex! Alex, the signal's back! Can you hear me? Are you okay? Russell! I'm good. How's Dad? They've got him on the train. He's on the move. You've got to find Fairview Junction before they get there. I'm working on it. So anything happened when you cut out? You're not going to believe this, but I ran into a... A border guard? What was he doing down there? Hi. I think he escaped from the combine. What did he say? Is that what he did a He said crazy boarding on staff. Hey, Russell. I just found a loose syringe of God knows what. Is this medicine? It doesn't have a skull and crossbones on it. I don't see one. Probably medicine. Oh, great! What did it taste like? Tell me how you- Russell, Russell! I didn't eat it. Right. Of course you didn't. No, that's- that's the right decision. Oh! That zombie has a shotgun!
It is dark. Everything all right? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, thank God. It's really dark. Russ? Yeah? Can you just... talk? About what? About anything. Literally anything. Well, I think that given our situation, your irrational fear of the dark is actually quite appropriate. You know, I can give you easily a hundred reasons to be terrified. Okay, that was my fault. I'll be more specific next time. Big fan of this flashlight. And it, not unlike yourself, is also sensitive to the dark. Oh yeah? Meaning it should go on automatically when the lights go out. Oh, nice. All right, Russ. Really need you to talk again. Absolutely. Be specific. Um, before. What was life like before the combine? Ah, excellent. Alex, have you ever heard of a club sandwich? Uh, nope. Not once. Right. To make a club sandwich, you need to start with bread. Not from a bread line, from a bakery across the street. Baked that day, okay? You add tomatoes, lettuce, not vegetable paste, fresh. Then you add bacon. That's from an animal we used to call the pig. You toast the bread, and you put all that inside it. You guys had all that? That's insane. It is, and I'm not done. Then you add a second sandwich on top of the first one. You put ham in it, also from a pig, and turkey from an animal we used to call the turkey. And more tomato, more lettuce, and a bunch of other things I'm forgetting. It was six inches tall and weighed a pound, and had a dozen ingredients from five different continents. It was the most impossible food item you could imagine in any age before ours. Wow. I know, right? That is... Wow. Thanks, Russ. You're welcome, Alex.
Wait, is that a dead Combine soldier? Yeah. When you guys were off sealing the reactor, I saw the Combine looting supplies in here. So, I guess they're interested in this place again. Right, we'll keep an eye out. Something's definitely up. to live on Earth on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd say right at 2. Yep. Could always get worse. What would you rate it before the combine shot? Oh, that's a toughie. I don't know. Uh, good day? I'd say 6. Yeah, a strong 6. 6? That's not great. Well, that's life, Alex. You know, it's not always great. Well, maybe we get the combine offer and we can shoot for, like, an 8. You know? Oh, an 8. Yeah, that really would be nice. Really nice. Oh. Holy. Yes. <laughs> So, when we get the Combine off of Earth, what are you going to do? I'm going full production mode on the Russells, of course. 
Oh, of course. We'll be sitting on a landmine. Gold mine, yep. So here's the plan. Conservative estimate, I figure one year to get the world unconquered by the Combine, get them off the planet, so that's year one, then another year to mass produce the Russell. Although, just quietly, we will need to rebuild society first, you know, to get some basic infrastructure, jobs, money, that sort of thing. Otherwise, people won't be able to buy them, you know. So, uh, yeah, three-year plan. Let's slot the infrastructure thing in for year two. Oh, yeah, definitely. You're going to want to put that in year two. Year Russell plan. You think, uh, you think you have a job for me? Job? Alex, you invented the Alex. Of course you can have a job. We could be partners. Oh, well, uh, hmm. Well, there would be stock options. Five to ten year vesting period, obviously. Could be very lucrative for you. I don't know what any of that meant, but sounds good, partner. Yep, sounds good. Alex?
last of them. Good, because we don't have much time. You should have plenty of time to get the override back online. All right, I'll be able to stop the train right here. You sure you can do that? Absolutely. You just need to activate the terminal. Nice. Then you'll need to be ready for a fight. They're not going to give up your dad easily. I'll be ready. Right, that's the terminal there. I'm on it. Do hurry, though. Yeah, there must be a battery around here somewhere. I said I would. Thank you. Thank you. 
you. Just stay there. I'm gonna figure out how to get over to you. No! Alex, listen. The thing was what I found is some sort of some sort of super weapon. A super weapon? It's something big. They got it here in the QZ in some kind of vault. But they're about to move it. Where I don't know, but it's gonna be soon. Then we gotta steal it before they do. Yes! And look, look. I managed to pocket this combine data pocket. If I can decrypt it, we can figure out how to use their weapon against them. So what's the plan? You head to the vault. I'll take this thing back to Russell's and get to work. Wait, uh, wait, where is the vault? Dad, where's the vault? Look to the northern star. Uh, yes. Look to the star. Got it. Dad? It's right in the middle of the QZ, and it's big. Get above ground and see what you can find. I will accompany the Eli back and ensure it is safe. Great. Thank you. Dad, I'm gonna go find this vault. Go! Stay safe, baby. I love you. I love you, too. I love you, too. Thank you. Hey, Russ. Keep an eye out for Dad, okay? I'll let you know if he gets here. I'll win when he gets here. Thank you.